Good morning, everybody. Thanks for joining me for this daily devotion. This is Monday morning. It's the last day of August, August 31, 2020. Where has the summer gone? Well, today our reading brings us to the book of Exodus, the fourth chapter of the book of Exodus, and this is a story of a conversation between Moses and God as God was commissioning Moses to be the messenger of God, the deliverer of the people who had been enslaved, some say, for 40 years in bondage in Egypt. Moses was receiving this divine commission, and like many, he had some questions about it. This is Exodus chapter 4, starting at verse 10. But Moses said to the Lord, Lord, I have never been eloquent, neither in the past nor now, that you have spoken to your servant. But I am slow of speech and slow of tongue. Then the Lord said to him, Who gives speech to mortals? Who makes them mute or deaf, seeing or blind? Is it not I, the Lord? Now go, and I will be with your mouth and teach you what you are to speak. But Moses said, O Lord, please send someone else. That's where I'm going to stop our reading this morning. Moses' response is so typical of many of us, all of us from time to time. When we are asked to do some service for God, to do some service in the cause of the coming of the reign of justice and peace on the earth, it doesn't have to be a great service. God asks us to do small things, to share a smile with somebody who is sad, to give a word of encouragement to somebody who is flagging in their zeal and energy, to give a word of peace to one who is upset, or a word of comfort to one who's grieving, just to take time out of our busy days, spend a little moment in prayer for those that we know of who are in need, just to raise up their names and their burdens into the presence of God who is above all and through all and in all. All of these things we are asked to do, to spend a little time in meditation and, and reflection on what God is doing in our lives and what God's message may be, to read a little bit of a devotion book or uh, or the Bible and prepare ourselves for whatever may come our way. Our response is often like the response of Moses. God, you've got the wrong person. Send someone else. It's not an unusual response, is it? Isaiah had a similar response when he was commissioned to be a prophet. He responded by saying, oh God, I'm undone. I'm a man of unclean lips amidst a people of unclean lips. Jeremiah also had this kind of response when he was called to serve God as a messenger. He said, I I'm just a boy. I don't have any skills and I don't know what to say. It's not about us being well equipped. It's not even about us being well trained, although you know, training is always useful, and uh, we pride uh, ourselves in an educated ministry in the Presbyterian Church, but there's no amount of equipment, there's no amount of training, there's no amount of personal skill or ability that is required for one to be a simple messenger of love, a simple messenger of peace messenger of truth when lies are told. It doesn't require any great epiphany of insight, just a simple 
willingness to be obedient. But even that, we sometimes feel, is beyond us. And we say with Moses, I've said it, maybe you have too. Lord, you've got the wrong one. Send somebody else. But you know, there may not be somebody else. It may be a case in your life or in mine, in the course of our days, that we are the ones. We are the ones who are in the place at the time where a word needs to be spoken, where a deed needs to be done. No one else is there. God has chosen no one else. It's our opportunity. It's our challenge. It's our time. So today, let's pray that we can respond, not by saying, send somebody else, but by saying, like Isaiah did after he had an experience of God's presence, here I am, send me. Oh God, today you'll bring opportunities our way. We know that this will be. There will be people, times, places, in which you would have us speak a word in kindness and in love, speak a word for your sake. You may not have us preach messages this morning or quote Bible passages, but just be kind, be gracious, be loving, be gentle, be peacemakers. Do that thing which makes the situation better and doesn't simply leave it as it is. And we pray that by your power, by your spirit, as you were with Moses, be with us, as you were with Isaiah and Jeremiah and all of your people. Empower us, give us the strength of your spirit in this day for the small things. Even if it's a personal moment of prayer, a time of contemplation and study, time of friendship or companionship with a partner or spouse. Give us the quiet, gentle presence of your spirit, the strength to be for you in your life, in, in our life, in this situation, in whatever you bring to us this day. We pray these things in the name of the one who is for us. Amen. Thank you for joining with me this morning. It's kind of an early morning today, but uh, it's uh, good to join with you on this last day of August. I'll look forward to being with you for another daily devotion tomorrow, and I pray that God will bless you until then.